Hey guys, my name is Chef Nick T and welcome to My Private Dining Kitchen. Since the holidays are just round the corner, I've got a few recipes for you that are really, really simple to please all your guests, okay? This recipe is so easy, so let's have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, so the three recipes that I'll be sharing with you today is basically a bruschetta recipe. So what are bruschettas? Bruschettas are basically bread with just different, different types of topping. So the best thing about this recipe is we can use leftover bread to turn it into something more amazing than what it was yesterday. So I've got some leftover croissants from last night's dinner and we're going to make this into something amazing. What are we going to do? We're going to do three different recipes. One is a cream cheese dip, one is a normal bruschetta and one is a spiced up guacamole with some hints of wasabi inside. Alright, so here's how we do it. First, we get out my knife. Okay, we're going to cut our lemon. The best way of cutting lemon, don't split it in half. You just cut the edges off. Just cut it into quarters, okay? This way, if you look carefully, there are actually no seeds. All the seeds are off. All the seeds are stuck at the center. You don't have to waste your time cutting the seeds off, okay? We've got some flat leaf parsley over here. The best way to cut all these kind of leafy vegetables is to just roll it up into a ball, put your knife together, and just slice it real thin. We've got some shallots over here. I've got a very, very fast way to cut shallots. If you can cut shallots faster than me, I dare you. Start from the top, go down all the way, turn it, go down again, turn it again, go down again, and one more time. After that, it just cuts beautifully, really, really, really fast. Okay? So we've got a bowl over here. We're going to start with our cream cheese. Okay, so I left this cream cheese outside for a while, so it's pretty soft already. Okay, you can see, it's not really hard. We're going to put in our flat leaf parsley. We're going to put in our shallots. We're going to squeeze that lemon inside. Okay, just a little bit more. We're going to put a little bit of black pepper. Just a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar. Just going to mix it up real well. Now that it's all soft, what we're going to do is we're going to spice this cream cheese up a little bit. So over here, I've got Signature Market's Pistachio Berry Trail Mix. The best thing about this thing is everything is mixed, everything is inside already. There's pistachios, there's cranberries, there's blueberries. So we're going to throw this in, we're just going to give it another stir. And basically, that is our first dip done. So the next one we have here is basically a typical tomato bruschetta. So we have a tomato, alright. We're just going to cut it up in half, take out the eye, okay, we're just going to cut it up into nice cubes. Don't worry about the seeds, it actually makes it a lot more juicy. The best thing about these kind of things is, just have some fun. It doesn't have to be cut properly into proper cubes and all. Okay, we get another bowl, we're just going to toss it in there. We've got some fresh basil, okay, and again, the best way to cut all these kind of leafy vegetables, just roll it up into a ball and just put your knife closely and just slowly shred it. Just one time would do. Okay, and we're going to go back and use the lemon again. Again, you just cut the edges off, right? Don't cut the center part. So just squeeze that in. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil. Again, season black pepper, some sugar, and some salt. We're just going to give that a stir. So this is how you do a classic bruschetta. So our next dish, we're going to be going to do a guacamole. Loads of you guys love to eat guacamole and you want to know how it's done. Believe me, it's really, really simple. You start with a ripe avocado. How do you know if an avocado is ripe? First, you look at the butt, right? It has to be brown. If it's still green, it's not ripe. One more thing, press it. If it's soft, it's ripe, okay? So the best way to cut this, take a knife, Put it through the center and just roll it through. Careful with your hand, yeah? Okay? Just meet the end to end. Once you've met it, twist, take it out, take a knife, knock it in, and twist one more time. And there you go. And how do we take this really easy? Just use a spoon, scoop it out. And again, this will only work if your avocados are right, yeah? If there's any bruising, just cut it away. Now we're just going to dice this up. Again, just rough chop. Have some fun. We need some tomatoes. But right now, we just need 
half a tomato. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it. Go back to our, that shallot of ours that we've already cut just now. I'm just gonna shave off a little bit more. Get a little bit of that shallot inside. And a little bit more lemon juice. Okay, again, just cut the edges. We get a bowl. All we need to do is just put that avocado in the bowl, put the tomatoes, put the shallots, squeeze the lemon juice, season, sugar, a little bit of salt, crack some freshly ground black pepper, a touch of olive oil, and just give it a mix. And now, we're going to go over to our leftover croissants that we were talking about just now. So these are probably already dried up in your fridge, but don't worry, we'll give them a second life. Okay? Bread knife, just lovely, lovely, lovely croissants. We've got a simple pan, we're gonna turn up, we're just gonna put in the croissants on your medium high and almost higher setting. We're just gonna toast it up just to get that caramelization. Just gonna season it with a little bit of pepper, salt, and a little bit of those extra chopped flat leaf parsley. Okay, and now let's finish this dish. We've got a very nice plate over here, okay? I'm just gonna put three pieces on the plate. One, two, three. We go back to our cream cheese dip for the classic tomato bruschetta. And last but not least, the guacamole. So I've got some chili cheese fish skin over here from Signature Market. This thing goes really well with cream cheese, all right? Because the, the spiciness of this fish skin cuts through that creamy and, you know, very rich flavor of the cream cheese. So I'm just gonna crunch it up a little bit. I'm gonna put some on top there. So I've got Sichuan Mala Tofu Crisp. Cut it to slightly smaller pieces. I'm just gonna dress it up on top of that. Like so. The poor guacamole. Kinda looks sad right now. So, we've got some wasabi seaweed crisp. This seaweed crisp is even wasabi flavoured. I'm not a fan of wasabi, but surprisingly, I actually eat this wasabi, so... And there you go. A simple bruschetta for you to enjoy over the weekend with your friends, with your loved ones. If you want to see more videos like this, all you gotta do is subscribe to us, like us, and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.